Okay, enough of that analytically business. Let's do it graphically this Just time. Rock on. So that means that we need to solve graphically. So first off, let's look at how do I um, put this into the graphing calculator because that's what it means by graphically. We would need to move everything to one side of our equation and then plug it into y equals. So, so what you should actually have in there is x cubed minus 6x squared, but add over the 8x, so that's plus 8x. Subtract over the 2, and then it's less than or equal to 0. So we put in y equals this. Got it. That's what I, I got the graph that we're showing. There. And what we want is less than or equal to 0. So we want all of the places where our graph is below the x-axis or touching the x-axis. So we could also use our graph then to... So I'm on it right now. Uh, so, uh, these are quotation marks to say, write this again right here. Uh, or it could be a smiley face, depending on what you want it to have. You should end up with a graph that looks like this, but as I just whispered to Mr. Hazelwood, it looks to me like we're going to actually have to calculate these zeros the old-fashioned way on our calculator. Remember that mm. for the TI-84, you go to second uh, trace. And then zeros is an option, or on the TI Inspire. Menu Analyze. Menu Analyze. Either way, you should be able to come up with some zeros. Are you ready to go with the zeros? Ready. Rock on. All right, so, so zero number one is um, right. Uh, here we go. Here we go. A little lag. There's a little lag here, but that's okay. That's just kind of the, the day we're having. Point three two five. Point three two five. Hey, three decimal places. Always a great number of decimal places. Great to number. Go to. None of this whole number business. None of that. No significant digits. We don't do that in nope, this class. No, this is not science. Uh, we're the mathematicians. We, are. we hand the scientists the information and then they round to their heart's content. They can round all they want to. What's the next one? Working on it. Okay. What is that? Uh, what is that stuff for you? You're like a fake chemist, you know, like fake pseudo chemist. No, you know where you created like fake gold. Oh, an alchemist. Know. Alchemist, yeah. This isn't alchemy. I don't know. It's it's really taking its time here. Okay, it's like processing all the way to the Indian Ocean and back. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot going on here. Hold on one second. So. Without using witchcraft, 1.461, 1. 1.461, three decimal places. Okay, how about this last one that looks close right. to four? Looks really close to four, and uh, analyze, I almost hate to do it, but here we go. Witchcraft. Keep going, you can do it, calculator. So... Two guys walked into a bar. The third guy ducked. Uh, you've told that one before. Oh, shoot. Uh, no one was probably listening, so. so there you hey, go. knock, hey, knock. Here we go. Uh, who's there? Noah. Noah who? Noah, good knock, knock joke. <laughs> I may have done that one before, that's, too. That's have I done that one? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Finally, 4.214. Yuck. Okay, those are our three zeros here. And then we want less than or equal to zero here. So we want the we want the negative values and the zero values. So we can actually include the zeros for the yeah. first time yeah. on this set of notes. Whoops. So it's below the x-axis. It's negative here from right. uh, negative infinity until yep. we get to our first zero, which is... 0.325. Right. But we are including zero because it can be equal to, yeah, so we put yeah. a bracket. That's excellent. That's an excellent decision. From, from 0.325 to 1.461, it's positive. From 1.461 until we get to our next zero, it's negative. Yes. And again, bracket those things because it's equal to. Please do. And then from 4.214 on, it's positive again. So that's our answer for this. And that's how you do it graphically. Yeah.